Pardon me, sir. Come to stare at the fool, have you? There's poor Ig Haggerty, robbed by his own sister. Bro, uh, imagine she's that. robbed almost everyone now. So, who's the fool? I, I, I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. Then you're the only one who doesn't know about Catherine running off with that thief, Victor Rookwood and his lot. Good riddance, I said. Never thought she'd return a steal from me. But us. But I just know it was her. I want her caught and sent to Azkaban for stealing a prize family heirloom. Sister or no. Damn, I'll okay. go. What exactly was the family heirloom that the thief stole? A necklace. Belonged to the first of the Haggerty women. Hundreds of years old. So much history. She'll likely pawn it. Okay. Why would Katrin come back to rob the Hamlet if she'd already left? Do I look like a criminal to you? How should I know? She always despised this place. Resented having to grow up here. Perhaps she did it to spite us. Maybe. I could keep an eye out for the thief, sir. You? Ugh. Nothing to be done by the likes of us. This is a job for the fine officer singer or some such authority. Besides, the thief, my sister, only strikes at night. Coward. Long past your bedtime. Hmm, imagine. Imagine. I should be going now. Thank you. Imagine. Bruh, I, I'm I'll always keep an eye out. on your belongings if I were you. Steal the I ought to look into this thievery business for Mr. Haggerty once night falls. He best be be ready to pay up once I fucking catch her ass. You know, I'm supposed to be catching a thief, but I am the thief. I'm gonna steal your cupcakes too, because I fucking hate y'all. Alright, goodbye. A <laughs> niffler. It wasn't Katrin Haggerty after all. <laughs> it was a Niffler? Oh, that's great. Where's the, where's the little thing? Where'd the little thing go? That must be the Haggerty family heirloom. Come on, I want you. Yes, got his ass. Let's go. Hell yeah. I wonder how Mr. Haggerty will take this news. His sister wasn't the thief, and his heirloom's coming home. I have some good news, Mr. Haggerty. I unmasked your thief. Nothing to unmask, was there? We all know that the thief was my sister, Catherine. No, Actually, you sir, fucking idiot. The thief was a niffler. A what? You know, small, furry, pilfering. I followed it to its lair. Catelyn was the only one who knew how to get into our homes. Where to find our treasures. But... Obviously not. I suppose... Mangy little blighter. Well, if you found the Niffler's lair, as you say, you must have found my heirloom. I sure did. I found your heirloom, and I'll give it back to you. For a price. Obviously. Huh? Oh, suppose that's only fair. Very well. We'll call it a reward. Sounds more decent that way. Doesn't Catch matter. I get paid either way. Disappointment for certain, but I never wanted to believe she was behind this. Now, thanks to you, I won't have to. All right. Strange Perfect. World we live in. I got a niffler. <gasps> oh my fucking god! Yes. Oh my fucking god. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. I, I'm i wearing that shit. All right, got some more talent points. So what are we, what are we looking what are we looking here? Um, you're stuck. I'm glad that you received my owl. We need to stay low and remain quiet. Lassie, what's going on? Why are we all the way out here? As promised, I did some investigating to find out what Harlow is up to. I followed him to the hog's head. I noticed him reading a letter. All I could see was that it was signed by and bore the seal of Victor Rookwood. And one other thing. Hallow mentioned you to his colleagues. They did not mistake you for someone else, did they? Mm, no, they didn't. Rookwood and Harlow are after me. 
Why did you lie to me? And what do they want with a Hogwarts student? Professor Fig told me to keep things quiet, but I know I can trust you, Natty. Rookwood and Harlow want something Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before I came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. I... what does that mean? I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it. And I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know it's a lot to take in. <sighs> it is. And I will have more questions. For now, it's safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. And we can help to take them down for good. That letter is the tangible proof that Officer Singer needs. It is why I followed Harlow here and why I wrote to you. I need your help to retrieve it. Okay, easy. Let's fucking go then. I'll help you find the letter, Natty. I'm glad to hear it. First, we must access the castle keep. I'll check the main gate, see if you can find another way in. I do not see any guards, but we should still try to be as quiet as possible. Hollow is here after all. Okay. Alright then. I've already been to this area. So. Should be pretty easy. Some more Ashwinder eggs. Hell yeah. Pick them hoes up. Anyways. Boop. Oh boy. Yeah. That did it. Akio. Come here. Come here. Yep. Up. Oh. There we go. Climb. Fuck. Um. Akio. Uranium Leviosa. Arresto Momentum. Climb it. Hurry, 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 hurry. Uh, fuck! All right, climb it. Yep. There we go. Got it this time. Give me that. Give me those gloves. I need to find a way into the gatehouse to open the gate for Natty. Can bring up. Man, why the fuck I gotta do this? Why can't she be up here helping my ass? The fuck. The bolts up. Akio. I will be right up. Is the main keep. My guess is that we'll find Hollow and the letter inside. Okay. We'll need to be careful once we get. I hear them. Yeah. Restrain the face. Oh, it's a hippogriff. High wing. Do you know that hippogriff? Very well. No plan. Nah. I God, I wish I had Crucio. Agreed? This is our chance. Go! God, I wish I had Crucio. The motherfuckers deserve to get tortured for hurting an animal. Well, fuck me then. Blast it. There's gotta be another way to get up to the roof. Oh, there's conveniently... Somewhere. There's conveniently a platform that is just tall enough for me to... For me to... <laughs> Jump and pull myself up. You're going home in a wooden box. Who the fuck is this bitch? What? Okay. Hello, oh, I'm gonna that. Ha ha! to Damn. Damn, bitch. What? <laughs> what? Oh, hey, there's a guy right here. Traffickers don't tell us. All right. D uh, okay. Oh no, Deke was right. What's a puff scheme? We need to save you from these barbarians. Oh, uh, uh, another one. Uh, uh, oh, take it. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, uh, let's go. Buckbeak. It's That's right. not Buckbeak. What? There's two of them! There's two hippogriffs. 
there you are. Oh, that's perfect. There's two hippogriffs. Bro, just get on this hippogriff I'm on. Okay, or we could just take her. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, I'd be shitting my pants. <laughs> oh my god, I'd be shitting my fucking pants if I was her. Holy fuck. Jesus. Oh my god, I'm running a hippogriff! Oh, this is so fucking great! Woo! Oh, this is amazing! There's the Hogwarts Express! Must be returning from an unscheduled run! Unscheduled? Fuck off, dude. Shut the hell up, bro. It sure is. This is fucking great. I love it. How exciting! <laughs> it was exhilarating, wasn't it? I wasn't sure we were going to make it out alive. <laughs> there was no need to worry. I had it all under control. Yeah, were sure you, you did. To find the letter. Summoned it straight out of Harlow's hands. <laughs> I will say, I did not expect to see him cast the killing curse at us. He won't forget this. Be on your guard. Sure, I'll cast the killing curse back at his ass. What did the letter say? That Rookwood's looking for a phoenix. <laughs> Not sure where he will find one. But it also included Harlow's orders to inspect that castle for the poachers. Enough to connect Harlow to the crimes. I shall deliver the letter to Officer Singer. She'll have to do something when she sees it. Now, tell me, where did you meet these hippogriffs? I've only met Highwing before. Poppy introduced us. Poppy Sweeting knows a hippogriff. <laughs> of course she does. Poppy will be relieved to know that Highwing's safe. I came to the right person for help. My mother will be worried. I must go. Seek me out soon. I shall have much to tell you. Okay, that's fine. Damn, she has her own hippogriff now. Alright, Highwing. Let's do this shit. Uh, I unlocked the hippogriff. Let's go. Oh, fuck yeah. We should speak with him together. Oh. Meet me at his home. I just, I just fucking kidnapped Highwing. <laughs> Alright, now I can turn Highwing into either this Onyx Hippogriff or a motherfucking Thestral. Either one is fucking cool. I think I'm going to use this one for now. Talk to Deke. Alright, let's go talk to Deke. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you wanted to tell me more about the loom. Ah, hello. Uh, yes, about that. Deke has had a thought. He. <laughs> oh God, what's happening? Oh God. Oh God. What? What the fuck is this? What? Huh? Oh, dude, this is so cool. I I love this game. <gasps> Seems the room thinks you need more space for your beasts. Yeah, I have a As fucking Deke hippogriff saying, now. He's had a thought. Now, Deke knows how you can test the item of clothing that you enhanced in the enchanted loom. And perhaps help an old friend in the process. What do you mean? A house elf named Tobbs works for his master, retrieving leech juice in a cave near Hogwarts. Tobbs' master doesn't let him leave the cave. And Deke knows the cave is infested with spiders. That sounds awful. It is. Deke hasn't heard from his friend for a while now. As the item you wove in the loom has an enchantment that might be useful, Deke thought you could test it whilst checking on Tobbs. Uh, sure, yeah. I understand. Leave it to me, Deke. I'll find Tobbs for you. Oh, thank you. Please let Deke know what you learn about Deke's old friend. I got you, bro. Deke, you go to for real though, I ain't even gonna lie. Alright. So oh my god. Is this huge? The coastal. The coastal one. 
But Caligo and High Wing uh, are male and female. Hello. How do I breed them? How do I breed them? I know there's a way to breed them. There's literally an achievement called a. Uh, there's literally an achievement to breed uh, animals. All right, I'm gonna put sepulcher. I'm just gonna call. I'm just gonna call it Kira. There you go. Oh shit! Hello. <laughs> God damn. Alright, I got three Thestral hair now. Hell yeah. That's where I'll put my Hippogriffs. Down here is where I'll put the other ones. I think I'm gonna sell the Puff Skeens, because I'm pretty sure I have only female Puff Skeens right now. Mooncalf. How do I breed the animals? I wanna breed them. Whoops! My bad, I'm sorry. Is this a male or female? All right, this is a female puff skein. All right. Okay. I'm just wondering how I breed them. I'm going to put the nifflers into this vivarium. How do you, however you pronounce it. I love this. I love how you can take care of animals. My god, dude, Nifflers are so fucking adorable. Oh my Jesus. So fucking adorable. I will eventually figure out how to breed y'all. I don't know how to do that yet. I'm thinking I want to upgrade this. Toad wart? I don't, I don't have any toads. Wanna to upgrade this too. And I'm going to put... I need Derek calls. Okay, so I, so the level threes can only go on the, the legendary and higher. I need to find Derek calls. Pressed ominous regarding Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium, but my efforts were in vain. Meet me outside the Slytherin common room. We need to talk. I hope that we need to talk means you're going to teach me Crucio because God, I I want to learn. Please tell, p please, please tell me how to learn Crucio. I want to. Uh, okay, here we go. All right, I figured it out now. Box full of toys used for playing with beasts. Let's put that. Let's just put that right here. Yeah, there we go. That'll be fun. And then... And then we're going to get a, a trough. It's going to go right next to the toy box. There we go. Perfect. Now I just need a, a breeding pin. That's what I fucking need. Okay, that's how I breed them. All right, let's go see if I can buy that now. I don't know for sure if I could buy it now, but by God, I'm about to go look. No. There we go. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna make a couple of them. I'm gonna have a couple of them. There we go. And they produce Moonstone, which is dope as fuck. Okay. Um, hey guys, how y'all doing? Hey guys. We're gonna put the feeding pin. We're gonna put the feeding pin right here. There we go, perfect. And then the toy box is just gonna be right next to it. So I fucked up. I need to turn this around. 
I need to turn this around. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the dark arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. I know where it is. Perhaps I read the I books. I know where it is. Ominous. You. I suppose it's worth a try, but don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. I know where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. Let's go. He's this way. Okay. Keep an eye out. Never know who's watching. Although that hasn't stopped us before. Exactly. Strictly speaking, it has. We were caught. Damned poltergeist. Such a nuisance. I know where it is. There he is. All right, Ominous. Listen here, you little fucking you bitch. Here? Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? I owe you an apology, Ominous. I wasn't honest with you before about the Undercroft. Sebastian did show it to me. He wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. <sighs> I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about, what was it, a scriptorium? He told you about that. He, he sure did. did, yeah. We were talking about Hogwarts founders and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more, though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is better left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. I only know about it because of my favorite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, she'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pure blood status. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. That's a bit unnerving. I suppose even if it might lead to answers about what happened to your aunt, it does pose a risk. Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. You don't That's know fair. that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honor her memory, get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. Hmm. I see what you've done here, and I confess, you've convinced me. I didn't think it possible. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. Shit, bro, I'm the Riz God. I hope I My God, dude. Can I'm the Sebastian. Riz God. Over here. Shit. These braziers grant access to the scriptor. Now you'll share? You wouldn't tell me when I practically begged. It wasn't you who told me what I needed to hear. Opening the entrance has something to do with threes. Well, okay. Three heads on. Two, three. Easy. I yes, sir. We're ready for this. Oh, Lumos. we are. Oh God, I hope I learn an unforgivable curse down here. No matter what. That must be the voice I hear. The voice is ancient, sinister. You hear a voice. It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, speak to me. I'm a parcel mouth. You can speak parcel mouth. I can hear and speak to snakes. Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I'd yeah. like to be able to talk to snakes. You might not want the ability to speak parcel tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. Okay, so? I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. Yeah, probably so do it. you're having second thoughts. Nope, not at all. I see no reason we should stop now. It's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the dark arts behind, and yet here I am. Stand back. I can't believe I'm doing this.
It worked. Perfect. Ominous, you possess a rare ability indeed. Ominous, you go to this fuck. Two of you, I'm starting to feel left out. Yeah, you're the third Between girl in this relationship. I. Never mind. There's no clear way forward. Like a maze. Salazar Slytherin most likely wanted this to be difficult to solve. The door we came from, it closed. And there's more than one gate ahead. Then look closely at each gate for clues. I'm looking closely. Okay. The brave here. When the door closed, it lit up. This journal entry, it mentions getting lost and being unwelcome. Bull, bull, and backwards six. That's how I'm gonna remember it. Okay. There we go. I wish I could, you know, fucking see. Jesus. I was about to do that myself. But you got to it Lumos. <laughs> nice work. Moon. Another gate. Seems Slytherin like to play games. Okay, there we go. Must run in the family. Look in a mirror, Sebastian. That one. That sounded promising. Lumos. Another dial solved. Impressive. Nice work. Confringo. Okay, Ominous. the other one was Your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. Triangle and okay. Another, not the welcoming sort, was he? There we go. Excellent work. Starting to We're figure it out now. Scriptorium. Still can't see shit when I'm doing it though, but I'm I'm figuring it out. Lumos. I spotted something ahead. Looks troubling. No, we're good. We're good. Don't worry about it. The gate! I think we're locked in. Again. We're good. <sighs> then Salazar Slytherin is not yet finished with us. Only way forward is... Okay. Alright. Ominous. A skeleton. And Noctua's last journal entry. She mentions being trapped here, blocked by an unforgivable curse. Come on, Ominous. This is where she died. This is where we'll die. I shouldn't have listened to either of you. Brother, just use it. Ominous, I'm truly sorry about your aunt. But I know what to do. It's going to be difficult. Let's go. You said you know what to do. Tortured faces on the door and Crucio's etched into the stone. My guess oh, oh, is if we please, pass the please, curse, please. the door will open. That's why not you oh my God, died. Please. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. He should cast it. No, he have me cast it. Ominous's favor. Will you ask him about this? I he bet. He does seem a bit cross with you. I'll speak with him. Good. Work your magic, so to speak. Let's go. Wish or you can teach me how to do it. Good luck. All of this could have been avoided. Yeah, I'm sorry. I have a PC, not a PlayStation 5, so I didn't get liquid look. Ominous. I hadn't imagined we'd end up trapped like this. Salazar Slytherin did. He's to blame for many unimaginable things. I overheard you and Sebastian, and I won't do it. The Cruciatus Curse is pure torture. I, I can know. take it. Sebastian told me a little I can of take what it. happened when you were young. Sounds as if you had no choice. Should have known he would have told you. And one always has a choice. I'm as guilty as the worst of my family. Unforgivable curses won't work unless you really mean them. I had to want to cause pain, and for that I shall never forgive myself. Come on, that pussy. That spells the reason I have no family left. You and Sebastian will need to sort out another solution. If you cast Crucio, you will regret it forever. No, I won't. I promise you I won't. I want to. Please. What do we do now? Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus Curse again. Ridiculous. As if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. I agree. We should just go and do it. It's up to us. 
I can teach you Crucio. Teach me, please. I can please. Cast Wait. Please. You didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Because I'm not sure I do. Ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I think I can cast this if I have to. No, I want to learn it. 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 Please, please, please. I want to learn the curse, but I won't cast it on you. You need to cast it on me. I shan't forget this. Oh my god, let's fucking go! Oh, let's go! Let's go! I'm learning Crucio! Finally! Oh my god, one of the unforgivable curses. Let's go. Let's go fucking finally. Jesus. Let's do it. Ready? I could take it. I could take it. I could fucking take it. I can't take it. I cannot take it. <laughs> nah, that shit was easy, bro. That shit was easy. Fuck out of here, bro. That sh that one shit. That wasn't that fucking pain. shit, bro. It was excruciating, but I'll survive. Let's keep moving. I'll survive. Just spend my little. We found spin the globe. I can't Strix believe we're here. I'm so glad I finally Sebastian, have it. Ominous. Slytherin spellbook. Oh. Found something. You two go ahead. Let me know what's in it. I wander around a bit. May I have a look? Why did I drink that? <laughs> okay. So, that's the letter of him leaving Hogwarts. Yep, that is exactly what happened. What do you think? Looks like a spell book of some kind. This is incredible. A Hogwarts Founder's Possession. What an honor. Still can't believe Ominous never told me about his aunt and what she found. What will you do with Slytherin's spell book? What I do with every book. Read it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can do that I later. I like reading too. For it's now, really nice. I say we explore this room. Hell yeah. I've already explored like almost it's all of it. It's breathtaking. Rebellion. We shouldn't linger here. Let's find a way out, please. Oh, yeah, I don't want go. to leave, but I owe you. Both of you. Without both of you, we'd never have made it this far. We were lucky. We could have died. We must swear never to do this again. Yeah, that's fine. Slytherin dungeon? Okay. Uh, bye guys. Uh, they're just not gonna follow me? Fuck, okay. Alright then. Ominous. Bound what the arms. fuck? How are y'all here? Please, Sebastian. I meant what I said before. We swear, right now, never to engage in anything to do with- Damn, that's crazy. Again. Understood. I'm truly sorry about your answer. Oh yeah, no, I'm gonna be cra casting Crucio so much. I suppose after all this, I am grateful to know what happened to her. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, I finally got it! Yes! Yes! I've been waiting for so long. I'm like 25 hours into the game, and I finally got it. Let's fucking go, dude. Oh, that's so good. That's so great. Can I help you? I believe you can. I'm Sophronia, by the way. And I need help from someone who's at least a fifth year. Are okay. you familiar with Herodiana Byrne? No. Uh, don't answer that. Of course you're not. No one seems to know of her but me. She's only the single greatest Depulso master of all time. Even taught at Hogwarts, briefly. Okay. She was just good at casting a spell. No wonder I've never heard of her. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, the single greatest Depulso master of all time. I often I read about this great bitch. witches in my limited free time. There are many. Whilst reading about her, I learned that she built a secret to Pulso training room here at Hogwarts. But in typical clever Herodiana fashion, 
One cannot access it unless one knows De Pulso, which, of course, third years aren't taught. And you're okay. a third year, so... Quick one, aren't you? According to what I've read, her signature outfit may still be there. I would love to see it. Would you get Herodiana's signature outfit and show it to me? Sure. If you tell me where to go, I'll see what I can do about it. Simply go to the Hall of Herodiana. It's at the base of the Defense Against the Dark Arts Pretty sure I've already been there. There, you'll find a series of Depulso puzzles concealing pieces of Herodiana's ensemble. Very well. I shall let you know if I find anything. I'm not giving you that shit. I can't wait Ain't to happening. see Herodiana's face. I'll show it to you, but I'm keeping that shit. The Hall of Herodiana. Better go inside and find those puzzles. Great puzzles, because I'm so fucking good at those. to see if Herodiana Byrne was as good as Sophronia said she was. Depulso! That was a fucking gimme. That chest, that was, that wasn't too hard. What was that? Ooh, I like that cape. I, I need that cape. I like that. Definitely was not the intended way to do that, but just one left. Fuck it. I literally had it, but then of course I fucking fall off. Stupid fuck. No, don't, don't. Okay, Jesus fucking Christ. That was so annoying with that big That's ass the last fucking of them. circle. Seems I was a map. And this must be the last piece of Herodia. Alright, here you what go. You learned? Sophronia, I solved all the puzzles in the Hall of Herodiana. Incredible! Then you found Herodiana's outfit. May I see it? Uh, yeah, for a fee. Of course, but not for free. That wasn't easy. Of course, of course, I'd pay anything. Oh, how grand. You'll look as majestic as Herodiana herself, the greatest Depulso master of all time. Uh, You're my second what'd you give me? hero. What'd, what'd you give me? Damn, she gave me 500? How the fuck she got 500 galleons, though? Damn. She rich, she rich, rich, ain't she? Shit. Hello. Hello. Mind oh, Ellie Peck. Quick. Hello. Oh, welcome to Brood and Peck. I'm Ellie Peck. And before you ask, I'm out of a Braxton hair. That's A lot of it was bought up by a trader in Ottery St. Catchpole. Made me take it in person, they did. No care that I had to shut the shop. Apparently had a bad experience with someone shipping them hair for my wampus cat. Damn. Must have been someone from America, no doubt. Hey. We don't even have a Mia. Anyway, okay, what yeah, are you here fair. for? Moon car fur? Derical feathers? Always have trouble collecting them myself as the bird keeps disappearing. Cheeky thing. <laughs> Used to carry them in the shop, Derricals. But people kept asking for their money back when they'd get home and the blasted things would be nowhere in sight. Damn. I can imagine that would be rather frustrating. There's worse. Trust me. Most of the suppliers of whopper feathers may as well be living in St. Mungo's. Not surprising, I suppose. The cry in those things. Oh, but such marvellous feathers. <laughs> Almost worth going mad for. Sounds like stocking your shelves comes with some hazards. Truer words never spoken. Used to carry beasts themselves. Good business it was, but add it up to here with parents grumbling. Not my fault if the little ones caught a flea of an easel. Ooh, 
You should have heard them. No. <laughs> Best with byproducts. And I do like to make sure the beasts are safe and well cared for. Couldn't guarantee that with some of these prospective owners. Now, why don't you have a good look around? Stocks change all the time, and not just because they disappear. Always best to pop in whenever you can to get things before they run out. <laughs> Which they used to literally do. <laughs> what the fuck is thank that you. laugh? Take oh no, nah, what? And thank you for stopping by. A treat to have you here. She's very talkative. What do you have for sale? Now, what sorts of beast byproducts might you be looking to acquire? Okay. Whoop a feather, dare call feather. Uh, I could sell you these puff skeins. I don't mind selling things for certain clients. You know where to find me. Toad warts, I need those. You could never go wrong with those. Good choice, um, I'd say. Need a dare call feather and a whoop a feather. Everything else, I, I know. Ooh, nasal hair. Or nasal fur, I need that too. Everything else, I don't need. I will eventually catch all those beasts, I just don't know where they're at. Again. Consider yourself welcome. Oh, look at the cute little Niffler. Rebellion. Look at the cute little Niffler. Can I just capture this hoe right, right now? Aw. Look at this. Look at this giant purple toad right here. Look at that boy. Look at that thick boy. I know this one's a male. I just saw it. Okay, there we go. Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. I got a male puff, puff skein, so I do not need another puff skein. Um, now I need... I don't need nifflers. No puff skein. Nifflers. Vestral, no. Yes! I need giant purple toads. I need a male and a female toad. On another adventure, are we? Uh, yes, we are. I'm going to capture animals. You, There's a. What do you think you're doing? Oh no! Oh no! You're fucked up, bitch! <laughs> Fucking bitch! Mongo, I need Mongo fur. I can't, okay. Oh, I've already been here. Oh, yeah. Alright, here's the mail. No, no, get back here. Don't. Yeah, no, you don't, bitch. Alright, got a male. I need a female. There, there. I'm not going to hurt you. Male. Oh, here's a female. Nope. Got you. Got it. All right, perfect. I'm, I'm going to you. I'm going to capture. I'm going to capture this one instead. Oh, that was a female. Come here. I need. I need a male. I think. I don't know. If I don't need a male, I'll just sell the other one. All right, perfect. Okay. Oh, I see all of them already. Perfect. Perfect. Um, where is it? Right? It's right here. Confringer. Fuck, it can't reach, damn it. Alright, I think I fucked it up. Not so oh, never mind. After all, oh, I didn't even realize I hit that one. Okay. Clearly it has something to do with those. Do I have to just parkour on them? I think I, I think that's what I have to do. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and parkour on them. Yeah, that's definitely what I have to do. 
No! Oh, oh thank God. Merlin trial. Merlin trial. Good for you. And then over here. Good for you. Perfect. Easy, Merlin. Easy. Easy shit. Oh, here's, here's some Thestrals. I need a male. Get over here. Get over here. I saw you. You're a male. No. No. Damn it. Get back here. Fuck. Fuck. Can you fuck off? I'm trying to catch the Thestral. No. Oh my god, again? Are you kidding me? No. Dude. Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, Thestrals are so difficult to capture! Okay, there's a Thestral. There's a Thestral that came back. Please tell me it's a male, not a female. I need a male Thestral. Sneak up on it. It's a male. It's a male. It's a male Thestral. There it is. Not this fucking time! Oh, let's go. Got it. Woo! Shit. There, there. All right then. Uh, leeches? Hell yeah, I need leech juice. Oh my god, that is so fucking adorable! Oh my god, dude, that's so fucking adorable. Oh Jesus. Oh, that's so fucking cute. Alright, I gotta let my toads out over here. A male and a female toad, and my flippers. Female. And a male. Other ones will definitely be, uh, sold. Over here, I need your feather. Thank you. I don't have anything for this at the moment. Yeah, I can upgrade it. Hell yeah. I need a grab them.
Hey, perfect. Phoenix fair than a unicorn hair? Ooh. Hell yeah. Hey, perfect. Hell yeah. Yes, I'm, I'm here. Is this Mr. Bickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Hallow. We need to speak with him. Huh? Hello? Why did he challenge- Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow! I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? Damn. I don't mean to be grim, but could Harlow have taken him? Archie's satchel is missing, so he may have left on his own. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... When my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? Um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father... Uh, I'm afraid to leave, in case he comes back home. Okay. We'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. What am I going to do? <laughs> I don't know. Kill yourself? That's that's a possibility. Please do not worry, Mrs. Bickle. We will bring Achi home. When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickle. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Halo. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Halo that we need. We will need something more. This must be little Achi's hideout that Mrs. Bickle made. Revelio. Achi? Achi Bickle? He would not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. Revelio. There! Achi's footprints. He went this way. There's the satchel. Archie's satchel. Why would he leave it behind? Revelio. He's likely running from Hollow, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Archie went this way. It seems like we have, it was only We kind of have a fucking kid we need to find. I still see him so are, we just, are we just going to stand here while you, you monologue? My father was a wonderful man. I mm, Let us keep moving. We must find Archie. Bitch, I was trying to keep moving. But no, you wanted to talk about your fucking boohoo ass life story. Jesus. Children now, are we? Better It fucked, bitch. They got what they deserved. A lamb there. Eh, who cares? Bitch. Glacius. That's just 
the beginning. You're no match for me. Kinesis, defender. Pain for you. Defender. You're going. Ha! You're easier in the spot than in a row. You've made a no more happy days for you. Easy. Alright, Archie. Please, I need your... Archie. Archie Bickle. How do you know who I am? Your mother sent us to find you. I'm so glad to see you. Not too loud, Archie. Sorry. We need to get this open. Just, yeah, it's... Aloha Mora. Aloha Mora. Boom. Easy. Sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now let's get you home. We know a safe way back. Oh, Archie, you're here! Oh, oh you're safe. Mother? Oh, Mother? Father's friends are in danger. I heard the people who took me talking about them. Which friends, darling? Mr. and Mrs. Ray. Mr. Filbert. And I think they also said Otto's name. Oh. I shall speak with them. Whoops. You run inside. Didn't mean to do that. Yes, Mother. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. Brother, we whooped his ass. It may be too late for that. I'm afraid Harlow's already after us. Then you needn't anger him further. I assure you, the threat could be a lot worse. Please, please keep your distance. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. You're welcome. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Not to worry, Mrs. Bickle. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. I must learn more about Mr. Bickle's friends and why Harlow is after them. You'll be hearing from me as soon as I know something. Thank you for your help today. You are welcome.